Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Palace the Hungarian President Katalin Novak and her accompanying delegation in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of her visit to the Kingdom. Upon the President's arrival at the Palace, an official reception ceremony was held where the two countries' anthems were played and the artillery fired 21 rounds welcoming the President. الشرف سلام المجر وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام
Then the Hungarian president greeted senior officials from the Bahraini side, while His Majesty the King greeted the members of the president's accompanying delegation. Then His Majesty the King held a meeting with the Hungarian President where he reviewed the deep-rooted cooperation and friendship between the two countries and the means of developing them at all levels for the interests of the two peoples. They also discussed regional and international developments of common interest. The Hungarian President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. His Majesty the King and the President then held a discussion session in the presence of His Royal Highness and was attended by delegation members from both countries where His Majesty delivered the following speech. Your Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Your Excellency, Katalin Novak, President of the Republic of Hungary. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. In recognition of the great role played by President Katalin Novak of Hungary in supporting the good bilateral relations that bind the two friendly countries, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will award President Katalin Novak of Hungary the award of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa in appreciation of her great efforts and contributions. Her Excellency Katalin Novak, President of Hungary, will award His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Order of Merits of Hungary. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Fakhamat al-Raisa Katalin Novak, Raisa Jumhuriyat al-Majr, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يسرنا أن نرحب بفخامتكم والوفد المرافق في ضيافة مملكة البحرين وأن نعرب عن بالغ اعتزازنا بعلاقات الصداقة الوثيقة والمتميزة التي تجمع بين بلدينا مؤكدين بهذه المناسبة الطيبة على حرصنا ورغبتنا الخالصة للمزيد من التعاون الثنائي في مختلف المجالات بما يخدم مصالحنا المشتركة ولا يفوتنا هنا إلا أن نشير إلى زيارتنا الرسمية التي قمنا بها لبلدكم الصديق قبل حوالي ثلاثة أعوام حيث أتيحت لنا فرصة التعرف على إرث المجر ومنجزات شعبها الحضارية على مر تاريخها العريق والتي حازت على عجابنا الكبير إلى جانب ما شهدنا من نهضة عصرية متسلحة بالتحديث العلمي والسبق المعرفي ومتحصنة بقيم التعايش السلمي المتحضر وجميعها مجالات نهتم بها ونحرص على انعكاسها ضمن مسارات تعاوننا المشترك ويسرنا أن نعرب لفخامتكم عن ارتياحنا من سير أعمال اللجنة الاقتصادية المشتركة وما توصلت له من نتائج طيبة ومبشرة بالخير والنفع لبلدين الصديقين بالإضافة إلى ما تبدله من جهود حثيثة على مستوى التعاون السياسي لتنسيق المواقف تجاه كافة التحديات والقضايا الإقليمية والدولية وجميعها مخرجات قيمة ستثري دون شك مسيرة عملنا المشترك 
وكما نطمح له معا لتقوية وتنمية علاقات الأخوة والصداقة بين البحرين والمجر ومن منطلق اعتزازنا لكل ما يربط بلدينا الصديقين من آمال وطموحات تعزز من تقاربنا الإنساني فأنه لا يسعدنا أن نمنحكم وسام الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان الخليفة أعلى وسام والذي يعبر عما تكنه بلادنا لجمهورية المجر الصديقة من تقدير واحترام ومحبة كبيرة فأهلا وسهلا بكم وبالوفد المرافق مرة أخرى مع تمنياتنا لكم بدوام التوفيق والسداد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Hungarian president then delivered the following speech. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you so much uh, for the kind invitation and uh, thank you for so much for the hospitality that we all experienced already yesterday and today. It is for me personally also a great honor to be able to visit your beautiful country, Bahrain, being also the first Hungarian president visiting your country ever. So I think that we can say today's visit is a historic step in our bilateral relations. And I very much hope that it will also be reflected in the further steps we make towards strengthening our economic ties, our cultural ties, also tourism, and uh, putting even more emphasis uh, on our bilateral relations in the future. Thank you so much, Your Majesty, for your commitment and your government's commitment. And uh, I can assure you that Hungary is also ready to be a close partner for Bahrain in Thank the future. Uh, our cultures are, seem to be uh, different from each other, but in depth, they are also quite alike because uh, we value our traditions, we value our traditional families, we value our cultures, and we don't want to give up on our culture, we don't want to give up our, our families, we don't want to give up our national identities. So I think that is something that brings us very close to each other. For me, being a mother of three children, I can also assure you that uh, being a mother or being a father, I think that's the most meaningful uh, part of our lives. Uh, I cannot even compare it to anything else. Uh, and I think that we can also deliver the message of having strong family ties. Uh, it is the corner store or, of our nations. Without strong families, we don't have strong nations either. And uh, uh, if we speak about the economic uh, potential we have among our two countries, that I am, then I am uh, very happy that we can today also sign two agreements or a memorandum, uh, memorandum of understanding between uh, exactly. two companies, two countries, let's say, which could also mean an even stronger cooperation economically in the future. And I'm very thankful that Your Majesty is also supportive uh, in these uh, programs, just as we Hungarians are. Uh, and uh, I also have to uh, share with you uh, our uh, deep sorrows and our uh, uh, very uh, tragic thoughts about the war which is happening just in our neighborhood. You know that Hungary is a direct neighbor to Ukraine, where the war is just right now going on. And I don't know, Your Majesty, how much you are familiar with the fact that 150,000 Hungarian people live in Ukraine, in Subcarpathia, so in the, on the territory of Ukraine. They are, are also directly threatened uh, and uh, affected by this war. We also lose Hungarian lives in this war. And I think we can also share a common point in saying that we should take an end of this war, we should put an end to this war, we should ha have ceasefire the soon as possible and we have to achieve peace negotiation and peace. Yeah. Because in this region as well, you know what it means to have peace. And uh, I, I think you are also somebody, Your Majesty, who can uh, understand the importance of peace and the value of peace. Sure. 
So we very much count on you on emphasizing uh, the importance of uh, a peace the, the soon as possible also in that region, in Europe, uh, so that we can safeguard our peaceful lives also for the Hungarians, for the Europeans, because we are very much uh, frightened and affected by uh, this war and the potential escalation of this war in Ukraine. So, Your Majesty, once again, thank you so much uh, for uh, the invitation. Thank you for, so much for the great thank hospitality. You. And uh, thank you that we can share our thoughts with each other today and also that we can enjoy the great, great Bakhraini uh, uh, hospitality, all of us. Thank you. His Majesty the King then hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the President and the accompanying delegation. The mission of honor was led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Zayani. The Bahraini-Hungarian relations have witnessed remarkable development in recent years in light of the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to develop relations with brotherly and friendly countries in order to achieve constructive communication and support for common interests between the kingdom and these countries based on the open Bahraini foreign policy approach which was evident in the visit of His Majesty the King to Hungary in 2019. The Kingdom of Bahrain and Hungary witnessed the holding of the first meeting of the Bahraini-Hungarian Joint Economic Committee at the beginning of 2022, which came to activate the Memorandum of Understanding in the field of economic and technical cooperation between the two friendly countries, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs noted in this context that the meeting was fruitful and constructive, and it will undoubtedly contribute to supporting joint cooperation between the two countries. At the beginning of this year, the two countries discussed the path of bilateral cooperation in various economic and development fields and the efforts of the two countries to expand the horizons of joint economic cooperation and increase the volume of trade exchange and take advantage of the available investment opportunities for the good and benefit of the two friendly countries. They also discussed opportunities to enhance cooperation and joint coordination in the political fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of Bahrain Medical Society Dr. Amr Ibrahim Al Razi and members of its Board of Directors at Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to supporting the Bahraini workforce by providing opportunities and fostering an environment that supports innovation, all of which are underpinned by the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasized the important role played by Bahraini professionals in furthering the Kingdom's ongoing Going development. He welcomed the president of the Bahrain Medical Society and the board of directors, highlighting their ongoing contributions to society and to the kingdom's medical achievements. His Royal Highness noted the importance of well-being for human development, pointing out that the development of the kingdom's national health care system continues to demonstrate its quality, sustainability and capability, which are key to safeguarding the kingdom and its citizens. He expressed pride in the effort displayed by 
team Bahrain's national medical professionals to enhance the medical profession's humanitarian role in community service, wishing them continued success in their endeavors. The president of the Bahrain Medical Society and members of the board of directors expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his forward-looking directives that have furthered the employment of Bahraini medical professionals and continued supporting support of the kingdom's medical professionals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health Dr. Jalila Hassan and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King Prahimatri in Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed to raise a prize pool for the horse race held on the cups of His Highness and his children, organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and last round of Bahrain International Trophy for Horse Race, which will be held tomorrow. These directives come within the framework of His Highness's vision to highlight the event in the best way and the honorable competition between owners and riders to present the best levels and the development of the sport in light of the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The directives raise the value of the financial prizes for horse owners as the total prizes will be 68,000 Bahraini dinars. The winner of the His Highness's Cup will receive 50,000 Bahraini dinars. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and upon the directors of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Federation organized a special veterinary examination for the races of the festival of His Majesty the King's Cup for Endurance Races. His Highness said that His Majesty the King's support of the endurance sport made it reach the highest levels and contributed to making many international and European achievements. Noting that the festival is a roadmap for external achievements. His Highness stressed the importance of the race, which is one of the most important races organized by the Federation, in which all local stables participate. His Highness praised the preparations of the festival and the efforts of the Federation headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and all committees. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the final match of the Nasser bin Hamad Football Championship for high schools. The match is organized by the Ministry of Education in cooperation with the SCYS, GSA and Bahrain Football Association. His Highness Sheikh Khalid witnessed the final match that resulted in the win of East Rafah School and then honor the winning teams and outstanding players. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for patronizing the championship, which reflects his support to the sports movement in the kingdom for its importance in showcasing young talents. His Highness congratulated the winning school and wished the other schools further success and praised the high spirits of high schools and hailed the role of the Ministry of Education in ensuring the success of the event. He added that discovering young talents will be an added value to national clubs and teams and praised the role of such events in enhancing competitiveness among students. He wished everyone success and stressed the need to further improve this championship and build on its successes in order to develop school football. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Jum'a, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for attending the event.
Under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Museum of the First Royal Mechanized Infantry Battalion was inaugurated, which coincides with the celebrations of the BDF's 54th anniversary. The Commander-in-Chief was welcomed by the head of the military office of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, Commander of the First Royal Mechanized Infantry Battalion, Colonel Abdul Wahab Saeed Al Mansouri, and senior BDF officers. He toured the museum and reviewed the equipment and the important systems, weapons, and technologies in the units. He unveiled the memorial plaque marking the opening of the museum and viewed historical photographs that highlighted the progress of the units and the various tasks and participation in military operations and field exercises, in addition to participating in a number of national events. The unit commander delivered a speech in which he noted that the battalion celebrates its 54th anniversary since the issuance of the Order of His Majesty the King on February 25, 1969, until receiving the flag on February 5, 1970, from the late Amir Hassan Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. وتقدير لكم على الدور اللي تقومون فيه في هذه الظروف وبمناسبة الاحتفال بافتتاح هذا الصرح اللي يسجل تاريخ هذه الوحدة وحفظ التاريخ إن شاء الله وعد وزيادة بعض الجوانب فيه إن شاء الله في هالمتحف بالذات العمليات العسكرية اللي شاركنا فيها لكن هذه الوحدة شاركت يمكن في على الأقل ست أو خمس أو ست واجبات عمليات يبين واجبه اللي إذا بعد راح فيها جرحة أو شهداء أو بعد يذكرون ويسجلون فإن شاء الله بعد هذا الجانب نغطيه في الصرح اللي موجود أشكر القائد اليوم على هذه المبادرة اللي حفظ تاريخ هذه الوحدة أيضا بالصور وبالتسجيل وإن شاء الله بعد بقية الوحدات تمشي على هالخط تكتب التاريخ بهذا الشكل لأن ضروري حفظ التاريخ للوحدات والمحافظة عليها أتمنى لكم إن شاء الله جميعا التوفيق والله يجمعنا وياكم على الخير دوم إن شاء الله ونهنيكم بمناسبة بعد التاريخ تأسيس قوة الدفاع ومرور 55 عام the BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed that the anniversary of the founding of the units was the first building block for the BDF's units, which was patronized by His Majesty the King, who supervised the stages of its establishment and set up training and arming programs for it, adding that His Majesty spared no effort in overcoming all difficulties that were facing it. He said that thanks to His Majesty's directors, the BDF continuously works to support His Majesty's march and complete the tasks entrusted to it efficiently. He congratulated all battalion personnel and thanked the BDF's members for performing their national duty to defend the kingdom. He appreciated the efforts made by the officers, non-commissioned officers and members of the unit whose operational duties have reached six since its inception in many missions inside and outside the country. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the martyrs in eternal peace. He expressed thanks for completing the project which embodies the most important and prominent events and major turning points the unit witnessed. The ceremony was attended by Shura Council member Sheikh Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and a number of BDF commanders and directors of weapons and units. A joint meeting was held between the legislative and executive authorities headed by the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsallam, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh, and from the government side, from the health sector, the Supreme Council of Health President, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to review the developments and the implementation of the health insurance law. Lamsallam affirmed that the health insurance law is a national leading project that will provide comprehensive and integrated health services as part of the qualitative projects and programs to develop the health system under the patronage of His Majesty the King. 
King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the Council supports the development of health services and hailed the efforts of the SCH President and all institutions, bodies and health sector workers and their keenness to provide quality health care according to advanced best practices. As Saleh affirmed that the health system in Bahrain witnesses continuous developments thanks to the support of His Majesty and His Royal Highness. He indicated that Bahrain achieves leadership in providing medical treatments and nursing services to citizens and residents. He said that the implementation of the national health insurance will constitute a quantum leap in the provision and management of medical and treatment services and will consolidate health security for all. The SCH president affirmed that the health sector receives the support of His Majesty and His Royal Highness, which contributed to providing distinguished medical services. He gave a detailed presentation on the implementation of health insurance, the procedures that have taken place so far, and the components of the project. He stressed the continuity of free health services treatment and medicine for citizens, adding that they will have additional services and the quality of services will improve. A joint meeting was held between the Legislative Authority and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs headed by Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al-Msallam with the participation of Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abla Tif Al-Zayani. Al-Msallam prays His Majesty the King's keenness to maintain the security and stability of the region to achieve the aspiration of the people, commending the cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He expressed the Council's appreciation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs efforts and all Ministry employees to implement Bahrain's diplomatic policy. As Saleh hailed the approach and vision of His Majesty the King and support to promote peace, affirming to continue cooperating with the government and hold joint meetings that support the Kingdom's progress. Dr. Zayani conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and their appreciation of the Legislative Authority's efforts to serve the country and its citizens. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness to enhance cooperation with the Legislative Authority and review the challenges facing the region in terms of crises and natural disasters, expressing deep condolences to the victims of the earthquake. He also expressed appreciation for His Majesty's directors to provide relief aid to Turkey and Syria and allocating a search and rescue team. He noted His Majesty's role in diplomatic action through his participation in meetings and summits with brotherly and friendly countries' leaders. He discussed the GCC's role in enhancing the strategic and economic depth of the Arab Gulf region, stressing His Majesty's keenness to support GCC efforts in achieving the aspirations of its people. He also noted the bilateral talks between Bahrain and Qatar, which discussed launching the course of talks at the level of bilateral committees, according to to Al Ula Summit statement. Dr. Zayani discussed the ministry's efforts in preparing the National Human Rights Plan, adding that it is also preparing to participate in the meetings of the Human Rights Council in Geneva. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, revealed that within the framework of the Ministry's plan to implement the directives of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, ordered the distribution of 6,128 housing services to citizens. The Ministry allocated new housing finance applications, bringing the total number of beneficiaries to 1,789, with a financing value of 99,467,000 BD. She stressed that the Ministry is working to speed up the allocation of funding requests submitted by citizens. She stated that the funding requests are witnessing a continuous growth by citizens and indicated that the Ministry, in coordination with the Housing Bank, is working to facilitate procedures for citizens to benefit from new funds, especially citizens' requests on waiting lists and other services. The public prosecution celebrated 20 years of achievements at a ceremony attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa. Also present were the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf Al Maouda, the Minister of Social Development, Assam Al Asfour, the Minister of Information, Ramzan Al Naimi, and public figures. In his speech, Attorney General Dr. Ali Al Bu'ainin highlighted the constitutional and legal status of the public prosecution as a pillar of the justice system in Bahrain. The establishment of the public prosecution was an outcome of the National Action Charter, supported by the people and launched by His Majesty the King. He added that the public prosecution is also a defender of the interests and capabilities of the state that are protected by law and is an essential partner and factor in achieving stability and security. Bahrain's Arms of Relief Operation is continuing its humanitarian mission in providing support and assistance to the people affected by the earthquake that struck Syria and Turkey. The Royal Guard Search and Rescue Operation is conducted under the directors from His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, as well as the support of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and followed up by the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, 
His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Bahraini team, in cooperation with the Vietnamese rescue team, has been able to find and recover nine bodies from under the rubble. The team has been working with professionalism and high responsibility by applying the highest standards of security and safety and standing by the affected people within un unified relief strategies around the clock aimed at mitigating the effects of the earthquakes and the human losses and material damage. This participation comes as a continuation of the ongoing humanitarian efforts and contributions of the BDF in extending a helping hand through search and rescue operations and relief campaigns to brotherly and friendly countries. Upon the directives of His Majesty the King to provide urgent relief, humanitarian aid to support the earthquake victims in Syria and Turkey, and upon the invitation of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to donate and support the victims based on the desire of citizens and residents to support national efforts, National Committee for Supporting Earthquake Victims in Turkey and Syria announced organizing a live Solidarity Day for Turkey and Syria victims in cooperation with Bahrain TV tomorrow at 5 p.m.